Because I said, you're delinquent. You're not paying. To many of the countries. Is that right? Many of the countries weren't paying. So I told Mexico, and I respect what they did, I said, look, your laws are very powerful. Your laws are very strong. We have very bad laws for our border. And we are going to be doing some things. I've been speaking with General Mattis. We're going to be doing things militarily. Until we can have a wall and proper security, we're going to be guarding our border with the military. That's a big step. We really haven't done that before, or certainly not very much before. But we will be doing things with Mexico, and they have to do it. Otherwise, I'm not going to do the NAFTA deal. NAFTA has been fantastic for Mexico, bad for us. We've had our car plants move to Mexico, many of them. We make tremendous numbers, millions of cars in Mexico. President Xi, uh, two of the most incredible days of my life were spent in China. But I told Mexico very strongly, you're going to have to do something about these caravans that are coming up. And I just noticed that the caravan now, which is toward the middle of Mexico, coming up from Honduras, is breaking up very rapidly. That's because Mexico has very strong immigration laws, as we should have. We should have those laws. We don't have. We have, we have immigration laws that are laughed at by everybody. Really uh, tremendous. 100 years. It's like we have no border, because we had Obama make changes. President Obama made changes that basically created no border. It's called catch and release. You catch them, you register them, they go into our country. We can't throw them out. And in many cases, they shouldn't be here. Many, many cases, they shouldn't be here. The Oval Office. I, can, I can repeat that it is a very good pressure to all of us, all members of NATO. Is perfectly. Thank you very much.